this is courtesy of the Bergheim subreddit. If you're not already registered on there, definitely get yourself over there if you're a fan of dance music and clubs and whatnot and the things I usually speak about. I think it's a really good resource for people that haven't been there and want to kind of get an idea what the place is like, ask some fairly mundane sort of mud on the road ans questions that you're probably afraid to ask anywhere else or maybe haven't been answered in an article. Definitely check it out on subreddit on the subreddit, sorry, it's um, ready.com or whatever, you know, Bergheim. But just type in Bergheim subreddit and you'll find it on there. Very, very good, useful um resource and they've got this really cool thing where whoever the mod or the leader is on that site does like a little um weekend or post so if it's a weekend you know this one just passed they'll put the dates on there and it'll be like an entire thread where you basically post an update of where you are in the queue what time you arrived who's at the door what's the vibe is like inside who's playing well who you like who didn't you like and it kind of gives you like a running um live report similar to like the Berghain live live kind of instagram account we can kind of get an idea on what's going on there and, and how the vibe is or whatnot so um you can always keep yourself informed so definitely a good resource and also they share some really interesting stories like behind the scenes stuff that you probably don't know about um give you an insight into you know maybe some of the things that go on behind the scenes and whatnot and one of the things that they kind of were able to shine a light on which i had no idea was happening was this courtesy of instagram sorry of twitter sorry and this is courtesy of the artist mickey blanco where it says um, she basically got rejected from Bergheim, right? And went into this crazy rant, um, which I feel like is completely unfair, but also goes to show just how unhinged that place makes people. Um, you know, one place in the world where they make it slightly difficult for you to get in. And the moment you don't get in, it turns into a complete soap opera. It's really bizarre to see. And it's interesting because I feel like when you do get rejected there, it shouldn't be personal because so many people go, try to go and only so many people can get in that it's just a lot of averages that one way or the other you're probably going to get rejected similar to myself right i haven't been rejected on my own ever but when i've been there with a group of people i've always been rejected it just is what it is and the saving grace of it is because that city is one of the best nightlife cities in the world if not the best if you do get rejected you can just go somewhere else like there's plenty of other places to go it's not like in london where if you were to travel to a location south east northwest you might end up having just to commit to it if you can't get in right you might have to commit to the area wherever it may be or try and figure out something else to go to like it's just going to be a complete nightmare to try and get yourself from north to east somewhere to go and rave just it's not gonna it's not gonna work so you have more reason to fly off the handle if you don't get in that fold uh, and then you can't make your way over to fabric because it's too late then you do not get into burger because you just you know it's just around the corner go to cop bus to tour and there's plenty of clubs you can go and have a good time at but again we digress so it says the following um i don't know where we should start the top or the bottom i think from the bottom right it says here at the bottom i legitimately don't even go i, I legitimately don't think i'll ever go to bergheim again says mickey blanco the next one i performed there three times they had me host their new year's eve party and the last time i went they didn't let me in lol um, there are legit younger stimulating POCs doing fun parties and cool events in Berlin. I don't think I'm going to subject myself to the Berghain Nazis anymore. Them turning me away that much history is like too whack for me to fuck with them ever again. Obviously, calling the Berghain security people and everyone enjoy, you know, that's involved with it, Nazis is absolutely insane. Batshit insane. Especially when you think about what that club stands for. Um, the parties that they promote in there like snacks the people associated with the space the people that have played there what they champion what they talk about their politics the things that adorn the front of the flipping building it's just insane to call them nazis it really is insane and it's also insane because for the most part you're not calling them nazis based on a catalogue of events that's happened to other people it's mostly because you weren't able to get in you weren't able to get in and then they become Nazis. The entitlement is incredibly strong. It kind of reminds me of that other dude who started screaming, you know, Nazis and calling people racist because he wasn't able to not, not wear his mask in an outdoor party, which again, looking back, it was a bit ridiculous. They probably went a bit too overboard. Maybe the security guy was a bit handy. I've got, I think it might have been, was it RSO Club? It probably was RSO Club, right? The the new version of Gruss Miller. Maybe the security guard was being a bit antsy. Maybe there was a miscommunication, whatever. They didn't like each other. Who knows? Non-verbal shit. But in general, going as far as calling somebody a racist because they told you to put your mask on and you feel as if it's just you is incredible levels of narcissism because you feel as if like you're above the rules 
And it's also an incredible level of narcissism because you feel as if like it's always going to be personal when someone talks to you. It's never just they just saw you and thought, hey, why has this person got their mask down, put it back on? And it can never just be, oh, on this night you went and you met the wrong person, your vibe wasn't right. And they just said no. It's such a bizarre thing. It really, really is. But on the same token, these sort of stories make that place f seem like a far more you know um, appealing place to go to it kind of does the opposite of turn, turning people off it makes people more determined to go because they're like oh wow mickey blanco didn't get in she's really cool like comes from you know new york and the vogan scene and downtown at lower east side and physical therapy you know i mean like mickey blanco's cool and if mickey blanco didn't get in imagine if i get in that means i'm cooler than mickey blanco wow do you know what i mean it actually does the opposite it really does that's the actual that's the legitimate sad thing about it because again imagine this story was true let's extend an olive branch and say this story was actually true and she did get you know rejected predominantly based on her skin color which is insane to think but let's just think that's true does it matter really in the grand scheme of things will it make any change any in the, any will it do anything to change the way that they kind of do their door will it change how people react to the space or their desire to go of course not it's going to do absolutely diddly squat that's the absolute truth of it which is absolutely brutal but it's just interesting to me because i feel like maybe because in life we get things so easily in every walk of life whether it's you know buying vegetables and fruits in a flipping supermarket to accessing clothing fashion technology being able to jump on a plane and go into most places around the world for less than a thousand pounds you know things are so easy that when you suddenly encounter something that requires you to jump over some hoops in terms of uh, being able to go it does get people it does get up people's asses a bit it kind of does grate them i think of all the sex parties that we have here in the uk like crossbreed i forgot the other one two members only place we have to text a thing people do get really i don't know what it is about us humans in the modern era that we just get turned off and a bit ir irritated when people ask us to do things that we feel as if are like unnecessary in order for us to gain access to things that in other spaces or in other places they don't ask that for because you know there's plenty of other mega clubs in the world that don't have as strict as door policy as Burkheim does but because they have it whenever people do get rejected they go in absolute crazy tyrants I remember kind of semi falling out with a friend of mine because of that like they got really annoyed that I just didn't agree with their idea that they don't let certain people in based on their skin color because I was like no I'm a pure example of it and again I think the reason why I thought like it was a bit insulting was because it's like you're going on as if like I'm the most hipster of black guys you ever met definitely not I don't think so I don't think I'm even close to some of the guys I've seen in there and I've always said it's absolutely hilarious where every time I've been in Burka and usually the 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 coldest reactions I've got from people in there have been from fellow black guys I've seen in there who kind of get annoyed that you're another cool guy, cool black guy in the party. Do you know what I mean, it's a very weird sort of duel you have to kind of dance, you have to do in the dance floor and just try and basically say, hey, don't worry, guy, I'm not here to kind of steal your shine. I'm just going to, you know, if anything, be your flipping... Um, what do I think called? Be your wingman. I'm not here to kind of, you know, scoop up the, the flipping... Um, <laughs> whoever you're interested in it's not my vibe i just don't understand that thing so i never understood that kind of point of view oh yeah you only get in because you're cool black it's like no i'm not i'm just a regular person that goes on my own that's into the music and if anything again i'm not the coolest that i've seen there there's definitely people that look way more cooler than me there you know what i mean covered in tattoos wearing amazing clothes fingernails colored and shit crazy shoes got a weird kind of international school accent wearing colors when you know glasses with weird colored lenses and shit i like just cool people with weird haircuts like and you see why they get in you get it they fit the space and i think i go and i'm like oh wow i'm surprised i got in thank you so the fact that people would then say oh my world experience tells me that that place is fundamentally run by nazis is just absolutely crazy and also you think to yourself as a former artist for sure there's a protocol that they have or there's something that needs to you know there's ways to go about things in terms of getting in if you're an artist but maybe that's what makes that place beautiful right is the fact that it's quite egalitarian in that way um it doesn't matter who you are like you know what's that famous story about um Blauan allegedly getting taken off of their um you know residence roster because he basically tried to invite a couple of prosies to the space or whatnot right um that's one story the other story is they try to get them behind a booth or you should try to do drugs behind a booth whatever something where 
he basically got treated like anybody else if he tried to come and bring in a couple of expo- es- escorts in there they recognize it they wouldn't let them in if he tried to do drugs on the dance floor you'd get chucked out maybe arrested so i like that they extend those rules that they apply so strictly to punters to everybody doesn't matter if you performed there you founded it you should know better i mean if anything i'd imagine if you played there they probably would be even harsher like you sh- there's no i mean we can't be seen to basically make be making any exceptions because you should know better because you fucking played here so i don't really understand that so for sure there's things that he could have done to increase the chances of getting in but again i just don't think it's that serious i really don't like you're never gonna see me have a meltdown like this online because i didn't get into a nightclub that's like re- redacted to the nth degree i just don't understand this sort of level of thing and maybe it's because of him as a personality i'll show you she did the same person who got into an argument with flipping rihanna about some no, was it rihanna or is it who was her name who is that? i forgot it was somebody something crazy happened and just went to the extreme end instead of being charitable and giving someone the benefit of the doubt it was just the unnecessary level of um you know shouty shouty online just for the sake of getting someone's attention it just didn't make any sense but you know maybe this will work maybe this will end up being um, a reckoning in some way shape or form i don't necessarily think so there's many people that know while going for that space and are willing to go there just as is um like myself so yeah it is what isn't it the game is the game man you didn't get in you didn't get in no one gives a shit